Oh, have I got a treat for you. I've got another box full of nearly 50 USA jerseys and sports tops from Pakistan. And I'm going to try them all on and show you what I've got. Welcome back to Cookie and the Haydens. I'm Carboot Chris. I'm a full-time reseller. I buy and sell stuff on the internet. And today I've got a box full of almost 50. I've got 45 USA sports jerseys all the way from Pakistan. Now you might remember part one of this video that's already out and I received 50 jerseys but there was about eight or nine that were fakes. So I contacted the seller um, that was on Fleek um, Wholesale and they gave me a discount on another order. So they've sent me 45 pieces for £280. They gave me a discount of around £50 on that and that meant it per piece it's around six pound twenty an item that's pretty good as long as this is some good stuff here's the box as you can see it's all scribbled on it's got nfl nba official jerseys 45 pieces that's the order number um 280 pound that includes shipping import duties taxes everything that is an all-in price let's get this open now this should be fun. I'm going to attempt to try on everything in here and show it you, like model it if you like. Um, no matter what the size, I'm going to do it. So it's better than me just sat there behind the desk like last time because that just dragged on forever, didn't it? And also I want to give a big thank you to everybody who made comments on that last video, the part one. Um, if you've not watched it yet, go watch it. But um, loads of comments give me advice on what uh, the teams were, how much things were worth. People took a lot of time to do that, so thank you so much. And I have actually already sold a few nice pieces out of the first box. I sold a Dallas Stars ice hockey jersey. I think that went for about 80. I've sold a New Jersey basketball top. That went for 100. And I've sold a couple of lower value stuff, but um, so far so good. When I saw the video of what they were sending me, I did reject a couple of bits based on the fact I thought that they might be fake. So um, I think they've just thrown them in anyway. So there's a good chance we've got more than 45 here, which will include a couple that I already rejected on the video. And first up is this Reebok Texans jersey, size 54. It does need a bit of a wash. That's your first one. A Dallas Cowboys, size large. Romo on the back, number nine. The Bay, Nike, size 50. But I'm not sure exactly what team this is, just that it says The Bay. Guns out. Denver Nuggets, size 44. Reebok, I look like a bloody nugget. Bengals, Palmer, number nine, size large. Here we have a large Nike Steelers, number 84 brown. These basketball tops are not flattering. Um, Lakers, 24, Bryant. Unfortunately, the label's been cut out of the back, so I've got to do some checks on this one, but I don't know if you can see here. I think this is the Bengals again, number seven with a name on the back. Reebok, vintage I think. Size medium. Not sure about this one. It's got this Raiders all black look to it. Embroidered. Not sure of the sizes either. Got another Steelers top here. It's a Reebok. It is a size small though with a name and number on the back. Needs a watch. I think this is actually one that I rejected um, because the name is peeling off on the back. So I said I didn't want it, but they put it in anyway and they didn't count it in the 45. It's a size large Reebok, 84 on it. We've got a New York Jets one here, number four. It's a size 52. Condition's not bad. 
first baseball top in the uh, in the lot. This is a Phillies majestic vintage top. I'm not sure 100% of the size, but kind of fits me. It's maybe a medium or a large, probably a large. But yeah, that's not too bad. And these fit a lot better than the others. Another baseball. This one's an Indian's majestic label, and it's got the all-star patch on the side there. Um, neck label has been cut out, which is a bit of a bugger. I'm guessing this is a large. A Broncos Reebok jersey, size 54. Really needs a wash, you can see here at the front. This is like a Brum reseller fashion show, isn't it? Boston Red Sox, I assume, with this. Um, actually, still new with tags. We've still got the majestic tag on here, cool base. Still tagged. Um, it's a size 48. Get your guns out. It's a Golden State Warriors uh, Adidas size large. Now, I think this was a rejected one when I saw the video because there's bits of printing missing you can see on the back there's bits of printing missing um other than that it would have been a decent shirt apart from that uh, maybe it's still got a little bit of value i don't know an indians uh, true fan sportswear this one i've never seen a true fan sportswear one you can see from the tag there i don't know what that is but it's a size xl it's not bad Patriot Salute to Service jersey. It's a size large Nike with Brady number 12. Um, this should do okay. It's got the nice patches on the sides. Salute to Service there. Always do well with these. So hopefully that's a good one. A Champion jersey. It's a size 44, which I assume is roughly a large. Chicago, I'm not sure exactly on the team on this one. Um, what do you think? Apart from the model, of course. I knew there'd be one like this. It's a size large, I'm assuming it's a boys. It's Adidas. Cleveland Cavaliers. That's in pretty good condition. A little bit stretched now. I think this one could be a dud. It's a Nike. Um, size 40. These sizes are a mystery to me. Um, it's got Prescott on it, but the this here is not in a good way. I'm not convinced it's genuine. A champion bullets jersey size 48. Not too bad, not in bad condition. Cleveland baseball top, I'm not actually sure which exact team this is, Cleveland what, I'm not sure. Uh, but it's got the logo on the arm there. Cleveland across the front. Packers jersey, size 48. Um, Reebok, with Rogers 12 on the back. Golden State Warriors Adidas. It's a size medium. I think it's Ruiz, is it Ruiz on the back? It's not bad, this looks quite nice. It was in a Goodwill store in the US for $4.99, but obviously it didn't sell. Seems a bit weird, isn't it? Steelers, Nike, small, number seven, in good order, in very good condition. This one's got Reebok throwback on the bottom. Size XL. Um, but I'm not sure the team, I'm not sure on this one at all. Just blue and white, so there's no clues for me. Apart from the name, probably, that's a big clue. Chicago Bulls with Jordan on the back. Now, wherever I see Jordan on the back, like in the last video, I'm always a bit sceptical as to whether it's genuine or not. This one, I'm also sceptical. It's a size 2XL. Doesn't look like a 2XL to me. And it's also made in Thailand. Mm. Warning signs for me. What do you reckon? Drop a comment. A Yankees size large. Made by Russell Athletic. Quite a nice jersey. 
Now I'm pretty sure that this one should be white. It's pretty old. It's a Majestic on a Cooperstown Collection label. Uh, Brooklyn, but I don't know what team that is. Uh, but it looks pretty discoloured. I'm not even sure the pink stuff is going to get rid of this one. Indiana Adidas size 48. I don't know Indiana, I'm not great on especially basketball really. Um, you know what you think of this? It's pretty big, it's got to be an XL at least. Tigers Majestic size large. I don't know what Tigers is or what team it is. This one could be fake, it's pretty much lacking any label at the bottom, on the inside, everything. Unless they've been taken out, but what do you think? It's almost long sleeve. Another big one. This one um, has got the sleeve patches on. Is it the Redskins? It's a size 52, it's pretty big. This is a Browns jersey, it's a 4XL. Number two on it, Nike, I think, Nike, yeah. A Lakers large Adidas jersey, number 12. Again, not sure if it's genuine or not. Um, always seems to be the Lakers. Always seems to be them that are, that are faked a lot. Or the Bulls. Probably because they're the two most popular, maybe. Back to NFL, this is a Reebok size XL. I'm not sure of the team, but I have had that player before. So I've definitely probably sold it before, but it uh, doesn't, it's not coming to me. GSH. Back to baseball, a Mariners size XL jersey on a Majestic label. Texans size XL. Reebok, is it sharper on the back? Sharper. Carolina Panthers, size large, and it is a Nike. Name and number on the back. Quite nice, this one. I do like the Carolina Panthers brandy. Miami Heat, size medium Adidas. With name and number on the back. Don't worry, I did reject this one already. This one, um, I did say I didn't really want. It's got all kinds of dodgy stains on it. Um, probably will come out and it might actually be worth selling still. Adidas size large, but I just didn't fancy it. I didn't think it had enough value in it. Uh, so it was six to seven pound a shirt, I thought. So probably not worth it. Adidas XL, but I don't know the team, but it does have Jordan on the back. Again, always suspicious about these. What do you think? I don't know what team this is, but it's got Clark 44 on the back. It is a size medium, a little bit snug on me for a, an NFL top. Trubisky number 10 on the back of this one. Uh, again, I'm not 100% sure on the team here, but don't worry, I will check it out. It is a Nike and it is an XL. Green Bay Packers, uh, size XL and it is Nike. This is the last one. Are you sad it's all over? It's a Rams um, size 40 jersey. It looked, it looked a bit in a, in a bad way. I might have to get a bit of a debobble on the numbers there. But, hmm. So that's all of them, and I ain't never doing that again, I tell you now. Um, but there was 48 jerseys in total. Um, that included three that I did already reject. Um, so actually, I think that was pretty good. Uh, pretty good haul. Uh, around £6 a jersey, um, which is a really good price in this day and age for wholesale um, USA sports jerseys, definitely. I'm going to make some good money on those. Um, give me a shout in the comments. What did you think? Any bangers? Any particular ones that you thought don't look right? Um, I'm sure I'll find out as I go along, but always appreciate the comments. 
And um, these were bought on the Fleek website, wholesale clothing from around the world. This is not a sponsored video. And um, yeah, I spent 280 pound and I think it was money well spent. If you enjoyed the fashion show, Brum Reseller-esque, and uh, if you enjoyed me having my guns out, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. See you on the next one. Jesus. Never doing that again. <laughs>